This is Jason Smith of the Flensburg Files, and we're going to take a look at a set of tongue twisters, this time dealing with the double O. In German, most words with double O have the O sound in there. However, in English, we have two different sets of pronunciations for, uh, for double O. The first one, of course, deals with the short version, which is used when we have words with the following endings in there. K, like cook and crook. D, like hood and good. Or T, like boot or foot. In some cases, uh, with double O T, um, they can be used for the long O's. They kind of give you a, a mnemonic here. These short double O words can be equivalent to the German vowels with Ö and U, like in Kön and Kaputt. Whereas with the long O's, those consist of words that have the endings of B, F, L, M, N, P, S, E, plus endings with consonant and E. And they're equivalent to the, uh, to the long U in German, like Schule and Universität. And now, we're going to go to the twisters. Most of them are in the categories of cool hoodies. Hoodies with people who run with hooded sweatshirts. So let's take a look. We'll start with the short O. We'll start with double OK. The crooked cook booked a notebook. The notebook looked like a playbook. So crooked cook rebooked a new notebook. The book looked like a law book. So crooked cook, looking spooked, booked a hooker via Outlook, who is an onlooker. And now crooked cook is on the hook booked for being a crook playing snooker. Then we have one with the D ending. One hoodie runs through the neighborhood looking at her personhood, going through toddlerhood and childhood, then sisterhood and womanhood, as she passes by Sasswood, Rosewood, and Redwood. One hoodie runs through the woods looking at his personhood, starting with boyhood, brotherhood, then manhood, thinking of priesthood while running past the pulpwood, beechwood, and nutwood. Two hoodies in the neighborhood think of parenthood. Their childhood is the lifeblood, making good peoplehood. The neighborhood becomes a nationhood as their parenthood becomes grandparenthood and not misunderstood for sainthood. Please note, uh, with the sasswood, rosewood, and, and so forth, these are all examples of trees. Then we have double OT. The troubleshooter shoots himself in the foot. The troubleshooter was uprooting the rosewood root. Excuse me. Instead, the troubleshooter finds a boot in the soot, but he hears a hoot in a snake root. With moot, the troubleshooter toots a horn, but sees a bigfoot in the blood root, rebooting the computer. The troubleshooter shoots at bigfoot, but hits his bare foot. Now, the foot of the troubleshooter is just a flat foot. Then we have a mixture of the double O in short form. The hoodies stood at the moor, looking at the foot of the poor, which was cooked by a crook and now on the hook. The hoodies understood that Bigfoot was the crook and stood on the floor in the neighborhood. So the hoodies ran through the moor, crossing a brook, but looking for roots. One hoodie was a rookie, and her foot took a root from a beechwood. The woods shook Bigfoot, and it fell into a brook. The hoodies got Bigfoot, and a book on Bigfoot they are footing on wood. Now we'll move on to the long version of the double O's, the oo sound. We'll start with the classic one where we have the double O endings, like in this one. In a zoo in Waterloo, we have kangaroos and tattoos, a wallaroo doing a switcheroo, a jackaroo making shampoo, another wallaroo doing a boo-boo, a cockapoo playing a didgeridoo, and wanderoos doing a choo a choo In a zoo in Waterloo, a tattoo is on a buckaroo, shooing away a kangaroo, playing peekaboo with baby roo. Now with a double O-S-E, and as a hint, you should check out the song uh, Footloose. The goose is on the loose, the moose danced to Footloose. The goose and the moose both had nooses. 
They choose to news the caboose, and now the goose and the moose are dancing footloose on the caboose. With double O N. Two raccoons flew over Saskatoon at high noon in a balloon. Two goons outside the saloon stand in a lagoon with a contrabassoon. They soon use spoons and play tunes at the moon. A tycoon loves his honeymoon, collecting teaspoons, soup spoons, and dessert spoons. He meets a raccoon in a balloon who gives him a tablespoon and a goon who gives him a silver spoon. Now he leaves Saskatoon and ends his honeymoon at high noon with spoons for the moonlight with his bridegroom. Double O M. A baby boomer is in a bedroom. The baby boomer zoomed into the dining room. A groom was in the bathroom. His honey bloom was in the living room. Now the groom sees the baby boomer. He leaves the dining room, goes through the washroom, and over to his bedroom. The baby boomer is doomed and is now in a courtroom. With double O L. Two fools live in Liverpool. They work at Whirlpool for Mr. Vanderpool. Mr. Vanderpool is an old school who made wool with power tools. Now the two fools left school while Vanderpool was in high school in Blackpool. He learned to wire pool with e tools while after school on a bar stool owned by Mrs. Pool. The two fools were cool at school but left school for Whirlpool. The two fools and Vanderpool live in an old school next to a cesspool, and not a swimming pool in Liverpool. Vanderpool makes rag wool with e tools, while the two fools make clean wool with power tools. Any questions? And here, word of advice from Mr. T: Don't be a fool. Stay at school.